It's video day. Well, hello today, guys. Um, I thought that I would try and basically paint up this back wall in white um, because at the moment it's a bit brown and boring. I was looking at maybe painting it a different color than white, but I think white will be good to give me the contrast between all the cool stuff I plan to have hanging all over the walls. Um, I'm also gonna take this one off. I'm also going to take this one opportunity to sort out my electronics. Um, I say sort out my electronics, it's more like take them off the wall, paint, maybe move them around. Um, what I want to do is box in the battery, um, box in like basically box in any live terminals or live ports because I don't want any water getting on them. And I've noticed that because I have an insulated round at the top here and on these back doors the rear is actually producing some condensation and I've noticed and I've noticed that there's been some dripping from the top because the condensation is collecting in there forming into bigger droplets and then dropping near my electronics which I really don't want along with that it is freezing today and I've got a package arriving and I'm also going to be able to cork board to the other side of the wall which is really cool um, but I'm going to take this quick opportunity to tell you something really important, really cool. Here is a link, there's a link in the description, and these are now a link to a Discord server. I know I'm throwing lots of online resources at you at the moment, but um, the Discord server is a free service where you can sign up and join my made Discord server. I'm going to keep saying Discord server, um, because on there we have like a few different chat rooms and we can all get on there and share ideas share pictures of our conversions get to know one another maybe find out that you live near someone that you never knew you did and you can meet up and have cool camper van trips with them and make new friends because this community is awesome you guys have the best tips in the world and what's the point of keeping that all to yourselves when we can all just share it together because I've learned a lot from you guys as I keep on saying so check that link out subscribe like love and let's get on with this Yes, I probably have had one too many coffees today. Oh God, that's so much water. Oh no, come on. No, no, Jesus Christ. How is this still so much water? This is going to take a while, so I'll catch you in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, the first coat is up and on and ready and done. And I was genuinely thinking that this was like thick enough paint to just do one coat, but as you can obviously see from the wood coming through there that this will require another, another go over, which will probably mean another need another can of paint, which is annoying because it's like not just 
is like just below halfway, which means that I'm gonna need like a very small amount of a, another can, but oh well. As you can also see from behind me, there's some blue sky out and I had to stop earlier because it was raining and very, 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 very windy, which wasn't fun. Um, I really do actually like the up white wall because it means that when I put something up there now, it's gonna be very easy to car driving past. Put up some hooks, put up some cool saws and tools and everything, and it's just gonna be like quick and easy and clean to get to. Um, now when I put like wet coats and stuff in the back, it's not gonna seep into the wood and create rot over time. I genuinely need your input. Um, I'm sort of thinking about what I'm gonna do with the little area up here. I'm thinking I might get some expanding foam and fill the area because that'll keep it sort of partly insulated, maybe stop the condensation forming in there. Another annoying thing is that UPS still haven't arrived, so I'm waiting for that package to come with all the cork board so I can get started on that wall. Um, so yeah, just gonna have to twiddle my thumbs, get on with some other bits and bobs, get on with some work, and uh, I'm actually gonna sort out the foam in the van, actually. It smells of that paint through in here, and I'm quite surprised by that because I sealed it off completely. So there is obviously somewhere where it's seeping in from. Does any one of you know how I can reduce or get rid of the smell of that sort of like high VOC paint? Um, I would really, really appreciate it because I don't want to obviously be sleeping in here with that sort of stench. It's really off-putting, gives me headaches. Um, it's just not a nice environment to sort of like be living in. So yeah, leave a comment below, please. So currently, this is the sort of the foam mattress I bought off eBay. And um, it's obviously, this is my L-shaped sofa and I need to pull it out. So when I put this down, there's obviously this section here and I want to sort of like always have this foam just there in place, but that means I've obviously got this corner overhanging, which is really not cool. So I'm going to, I've dotted three marks there and I'm gonna follow that line across. I've dotted some more marks there and I'm gonna cut that little wedge out. Soph is gonna be her usual angel self. She's gonna make a brand new cover for this. So this is basically like the sofa cushion and this little excess bit is gonna get its own sort of bit and that's gonna go up on the back wall there to act as a back cushion. And then over here will become my new little library slash media section slash charging dock slash useful area. Um, and then the camper van will be cosier, more functional, and then quicker to get in and out of bed. Just as I'm about to take the old mattress inside, the cork's arrived. So my DIY nomads, the cork is here. I've got this, I think it's seven mil thick cork because I feel like that's a good thickness, like the, ma like the minimum and maximum that what I need so I can get pins in there, but it doesn't go all the way through and like, gets into the wood and all that sort of stuff. It might go into the wood a little bit. I don't mind it going into the wood. It's just I want, I don't want like the pins sticking out halfway because it can only go through so much. So I've got these pretty big sort of panels. They're like a really good size. Um, so I won't need many. I think I need about five to fill this whole space. And all I'm doing is I'm putting them up against the edge. Now we are going back to the good old days of the plywood so that it would fit this angle. Here's my little trick to do it again. So down here the gap is, there is a gap, and then it slowly graduates to the point where at the top it's touching the wood. I've got a Leatherman here, and as you can see the blade is on one side and I've got this side of the body here. Now if I was to put it up against the wood as shown, I can pull the cork board out to the point where it's just touching the edge of that knife. About there. Now, all I have to do is, with this knife, go from the top, keep it up against the wall, and drag down, leaving a cut mark that will eventually go in line with the bottom edge there. Cut out that strip, and it will go perfectly flush against the wall. Just for good measure, here is one that I prepared earlier. So now, slide it up, push it up against, and you can see that, there you go. Beautifully neat, right up against the wall, all the way down. So this is the mess that I've made, but I've managed to get four panels, and as I mentioned earlier, they are pretty big, as you can see. 
I just got one more panel down on, my on the floor here to fill this little gap at the top but I just went out and got some spray on adhesive so we're gonna get these puppies stuck on the wall now and then if the if I run out of light, it's getting to about four o'clock now. If I run out of light, it's not too bad. I can finish it off another day, but I've just got this main bit of cork board in. And the great thing is, the great thing about cork board is that it's not just great to pin stuff to and it looks cool. It's also insulating and soundproofing. So that's going to reduce a lot of noise from the rear and a lot of the coldness from that uninsulated part in the back, even though the wall is insulated as well. So good news all around. Right, definitely would recommend wearing a face mask while doing this, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to have to completely destroy my lungs and uh, hope for the best. I just looked at my camera and realized I wasn't recording for the last two or three minutes. But as you can see, I have finished the cork wall and I'm super stoked with it. If I'm to be brutally honest, I'm not too happy about like the really like obvious lines, but <sighs> beggars can't be choosers and um, I still think it looks fantastic. Well, there it is. Sun's going down. I've done all I can for today. I've got to wait for the back wall here to uh, dry out. And then I can put a secondary coat on, but it's going to take a little while, so I've got to do that tomorrow. It's been really good to get back into the build videos, and I've got a couple of ideas for other build videos. So my finger feels really weird because I've got the glue in it, and now I'm, like it feels like like the worst pins and needles ever. I don't know why. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll catch all of my DIY name ads next video. Boom. <laughs>